Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Pocket is an application that lets you save things to your device for later viewing. In this review, we're going to take a look at Pocket version 5, which was just released by developers. It includes a whole lot of new features, and we're going to check them out. Pocket has been out for a while now and most people already know what it does, so we're just going to focus on the new features. The biggest new improvement is a feature called Highlights. Highlights is a function that will help you mow through your unread content and bring the stuff that may interest you the most to the top of the list. This is actually extremely handy. Highlights will look at what you consume the most and use those stats to put items you may like the most toward the top. It sorts them by long reads, which are 1500 words or more, short reads, which are 300 words or less, the best items, and items that are directly related to what you read about most often. Other improvements include a revamped interface that looks clean and helps you move around the app with more ease. Also included is the new bulk edit feature which lets you archive, delete, or re-tag multiple items at once. So how can you use this? Well, with Pocket, it's always been really easy to grab stuff on the internet and put it in your pocket for quick reference later. With this mammoth update, it allows you to engage in more of that content with less effort. If you're one of the many that are really behind, the new features will help you consume and organize your content in a way that'll help you actually get through all of it. So here's what we liked. The new interface is clean and organized. It's easy to move around the interface and getting into various categories. This is a dramatic improvement from the old interface. Highlights is awesome. It may take a minute to get your personal reading habits down, but once it does, it will organize your articles and videos for you so you can consume what you want when you want. Bulk edits help you clean up and organize things much faster. This may not be so helpful to people who are always up to date, but people who have hundreds of articles backed up, which is about 50% of Pocket users, according to Pocket, will love this. In terms of what we didn't like, it was tough to do because there wasn't anything overly wrong with this application. Fans of the channel know that I don't get to say that very often. That said, there were a few very small things in the interface that were just a little bit off. In the articles view, you can't swipe between the My List and Archive tabs. On larger phones or tablets, this means reaching up to tap the tabs manually. Also, the fonts in dark mode could use a little bit of a touch-up. The dark gray text in the Archive and My List text are only a couple of shades darker than the theme itself, and that makes it a little hard to read. Read. Nitpicks aside, the new Pocket is everything you could possibly ask it to be. The new interface makes it so much easier to move through the app and to get to the content that you want. The Highlights feature does a great job of sorting through all of your stuff to find the content that you wish to have right then and there. There is virtually nothing wrong with this application and we really like that. If you haven't yet, we highly recommend you try the new Pocket. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this review, check out some of our other ones. You can find a written companion to this video in the video description, along with our social media links. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.